Hey, hello everybody. Hello YouTube. How are you? Um, if you are brand new here to my channel on YouTube, my name is Kelly Weiler and this is my studio. It is called Girl Upcycled Studio. And I'm so happy to have you all here with me today over on YouTube. Um, today, I'm going to be working on a thrift store find, a thrift store upcycle. It'll be something that anybody and everybody can use. Um, so I want to just kind of talk to you a little bit about um, what I'm going to be doing first and the products I'm going to be using. And then when I get done with the project, I will type up everything that I used in the description, okay? So I'm fairly new to the YouTube um, live. So I'm used to the other places. So I'm pretty new here. So please forgive me or help me out if, if there's a little tip or anything for me. I'm always open to hear great tips. So, all right. So here's what I'm going to do today, guys. Look, pretty, huh? So I actually um, found this at a thrift store quite a while ago. I have painted this and I sold the lampshade. Um, I've been doing painted lampshades. Um, so now I want to change the base of this. So I'm going to kind of show you how I like to paint my lamps and anything that's hard like metal and things like that and then i have one that i did last night and it has sat overnight and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do a little glazing project for you okay so um if you are here thank you uh, I, I don't i did not see who that was but if you're here and you're catching something a glitch or something on my youtube channel Give me a little heads up. Um, it, that's the how I'm going to know if this is kind of going okay. So I'm excited for you guys, though. Um, I really love YouTube. I spend a lot of time on YouTube. Whenever I search for anything, I always go to YouTube. It's like my the doctor, Dr. YouTube, right? All right. So let me show you a little sneak peek of what's coming um, towards the end of my show here. Um, this is one that I painted. Um, hi, Carmelina. Everything looks and sounds great. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that. So this is the one that I pre-painted and I'm going to do a glazing effect on this for all of you tonight. So it should be pretty fun. And I may do a part two video and paint some kind of motif or something cute on this lampshade, but that'll have to be like another day um, later on this week or the beginning of next, but I will certainly announce that, okay? So everybody's been loving the lamps that I've been doing lately. Okay, so let's talk about what products I'm gonna use. I am gonna use the DIY paint products, okay? I do offer those in my store, I do ship out. I will give all the links, like I said, in the description below. If you have not used this, it is a wonderful product. And I am not sure, it looks like it's backwards and I really hate to mess with this on YouTube since I'm not real familiar. Um, but it does say DIY paint. I realize it's, it may be backwards. Um, but it is an all natural, no VOC, clay based paint. And it's, um, there's no fumes or anything. So it's a very, very safe paint. And the reason that I love this is that I have a lot of allergies. I have a lot of sensitivities to smells. And I mean, it is so bad. Like if I'm in a grocery store and somebody has a perfume on, I can smell it three aisles over. That's how sensitive. So if you notice, like I, I kind of rub my face and my nose a lot, that's why I have, um, just very, I'm very sensitive to um, chemicals and things like that. So whenever possible, I try not to use stuff like that. So when this came along, I was extremely happy. And um, it, this is a product by Debbie Beard. And she has um, just so much integrity with her product. So I'm so happy that she has chosen this. So that's what I'm going to use. And this this one right here, I'm gonna start with um, Hey Sailor, which is a beautiful, beautiful navy blue, okay? All right, so 
I've got my Paint Pixie. This is the French tip brush. This is really, really good for painting anything with these little grooves. So I'm going to move my cameras down just a smidgen. And I've got a couple of cameras going on here at once. Hello, everybody. And it's just so you can kind of see a little bit better. So if you look, the paint is so much thicker. You see that? Very, very thick. It's very, very um, highly, highly pigmented. So um, it doesn't take a lot. So I'll just get you started. I do like to kind of tap it or kind of see how well that goes on. You want to make sure you clean your item really well and maybe degrease it. And other than that, you can just start painting it. There's not a ton of prep work that goes into this gang. So I'm just doing what is called um, stippling. Now a little trick to the stippling, and I'm gonna come down here so I can see a little bit more. A little trick to the stippling. If you want less brush strokes when you're stippling, so you don't wanna see a lot of the high and low peaks, you, all you need to do is just kind of wet it down a little bit more and that liquid from the water that will help um, just kind of level it all out and I am sorry I think I am probably I think I'm making let me hold this I think I'm making the camera bump a little bit so are there any questions about any of this like I said I am going to do a a little bit of a glazing technique on the one that I've already painted. Now this one that I have, the, it's the Hay Sailor, which is a navy blue. This one, I think I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm gonna do like a white wax or maybe even a light, light colored glaze. Maybe I'll glaze it. I haven't decided that much or yet that far. So I would love to know if any of you have tried this yet, if you have tried upcycling any of these little items. I mean, right now's the time, gang, because we are in the middle of summer and there's all kinds of sales going on and there's all kinds of, uh, you know, good stuff, garage sales and all the stuff going on. So don't forget your ReStore. I get a lot of stuff from the ReStore and some of this could have actually have came from the restore. But let me know if you've tried it. And if you have, how did it turn out for you? It is a great way to like pull a look together for very low cost, by the way. Um, yes, yes, Christy, my earrings are wooden and I do sell these too. I need to get them on my website, but if there's anything that you want. I do have them. I'm out of my feathers. I'm trying to, I should turn this on just to make sure. I think everything's running properly. So um, I have four lamps waiting for me to paint, says Tish. She has a lot of work to do, huh? And for some reason, I don't know. I'm going to try to, let me open this up on YouTube just to see if, huh. Maybe I can see your comments because I'm not seeing a lot of comments and they come up and then they disappear. So I'm not really, I'm not used to it yet, gang. So, oh, there they are. Oh, how fun. Any tips for shiny, slick lamp surfaces, like a special prep? Great question, Carmelina. Carmelina, so the most important thing I would do because the next one that I'm going to use and actually this one started out smooth too, but it was a very shiny kind of a brass kind of a finish. Um, with the DIY paint, the most important thing with a surface like that is to clean it and degrease it, okay? Other than that, this paint, you don't really have to do much. You don't have to prep it. It will adhere to it after it cures. So after it dries, 
you will like maybe the next day you'll come come back and you will put your hard coat on it and you'll do a sealant or you will wax it and once that happens um, as it cures, you know, just like any paint, so any paint, no matter if it's a, you know, a latex or acrylic or anything like that, it's normally, it's normally like a 27 to 28 day, I think, curing time. So same with this. So after that cures, it's on there and it's hard. So, I mean, if you can hear that, this is DIY paint that's on the base that I've already painted. It's on there. It's, it's like rock hard. So yeah, you don't, you do not have to worry about anything like that. Um, haven't found a pretty lamp like this, but the blue is beautiful, isn't it? And you guys, all the rage, hi Mary, all the rage right now is this navy blue. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, I'll give you a little secret too. When you want to kind of gauge, especially if you are a store owner, if you have a booth, if you're selling things, a great way to kind of gauge your colors that are going to be the, like the next hot up and coming color is to watch what's going on on the fashion runways. That's a great little tip that will show you the hot colors and it'll show you like if you start seeing a lot of metallics, um, that's where you'll start seeing it. So I'm just still, I'm stippling, I'm stippling, and notice I'm, I'm moving this all over because you wanna make sure you get up under all these ridges and everything. But the brush, um, this is the Paint Pixie French Tip brush, and it goes a long way. This holds a ton of paint. So you should get a lot of coverage from here. Now, what I will do I will do two good coats like this, okay? Um, I'm trying to see if, oh, it's not backwards. Okay, that's cool. Let me just hold it up because, oh, that's awesome. Oh, YouTube, I love you, YouTube. I don't have to mess with like trying to change the angle or the so people can read the stuff oh my gosh who would have thought right so who is brand new to my youtube channel and if you are brand new please subscribe and hit that little bell because what will happen when you hit that little notification bell button it will tell you when I've got a new video up because not only am I gonna start doing more of the lives, but I also do the edited stuff on here too. So, and I'm learning more and more. Man, this thing's heavy. I'm learning more and more with the videos and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, hopefully we'll get better as the time goes by, right? I can't get worse, right? That's the one thing. Um, hello Casey, how are you? So there's only up, you can only go up from here is what I'm thinking, right? <laughs> so this goes on, this goes on fairly quick, fairly easy. It's very therapeutic, I might add. Um, it's very thick, the paint is very thick. Um, I don't, I'm not hating that. I'm not hating the fact that it's going on thicker. I'm kind of liking it. Look at the coverage. It's going on really good. Um, let's see, Kathy. Okay, I want to know how you're doing this on YouTube and Facebook. I have two phones. I have my old phone that I hooked up. And uh, the one thing that I want to start doing on here too, for those of you that are here on YouTube, um, every Tuesday, at least I try the best that I can, every Tuesday I do a postcard painting and I do little giveaways. And I'm not sure how I will do that on YouTube, but I'll figure it out because I want to include everybody. But it's really fun. I'm going to paint these little um, artistic 
something artsy fartsy, you know, on a little postcard, and a viewer um, gets it, and I, you know, eventually I will send it out to one of the viewers. Oh, this is looking so pretty. So this is a great way, like I said, just to pull a room together. So if you're really getting bored with the look of your house, which I am right now, I need to be, if I had better internet connection, I'd be doing more of this at my house and I would be getting more projects done at my house. Can I just tell you? <laughs> uh, but, it is a great way to pull a look together, change a complete look. So one of my lamps and my lampshades that I'm painting will be going to my bedroom, which I've been working on. I'm almost done with it. Very, I love it though. This is going on really, really good. I might not have to do two coats, gang going on really nice and thick so um I can't see somebody just said hello um it's reading good it's not backwards says vintage but vintage vibes I love that name how cool is that so what is the craziest thing that you have found at um, like a sale or the restore or a garage sale or anything. What's the craziest thing you have found and that you have upcycled? I'm trying to think of what the craziest thing. I'm sure there's been some. So my latest thing I've got, and I have to give, um, I have to give Angel, let's see, hold on. I'll be right back. I have to show you this. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for showing this, but this is my latest crazy thing that I found. <laughs> so I'm gonna have some fun upcycling that. So my friend Andrea, um, who has a store, let's see, from Windmill, or I'm not Wind, Windmill, that's Melanie. Um, oh my goodness, Andrea, she's gonna kill me. She's going to kill me. Anyway, she did some. She did some, and they were fabulous. And then, like, literally right before I saw hers, I had just bought that. And I was thinking about doing, like, I don't know, something with the maybe the IOD stuff on it or who knows, some kind of artsy-fartsy thing to it. If it turns out bad, I'll just throw, like, a shirt on it, right? Blended Vintage Marketplace. Thank you. Who was that? Thank you, Kathy. Oh my gosh. I'm so ashamed of myself because I love her. And she's always like, she's the one that says, I love your guts. <laughs> I know. I love her. Love, love, love. She's a sweetheart. All right. I'm almost done. Almost done. So one coat. That was one coat. Look, it's already drying. That's pretty cool, right? So if you are over there on Facebook land and you have not subscribed to YouTube, you need to come on over and subscribe. And you might have a little better angle too at YouTube. I don't know, so far so good. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because I think that is great. So I may do, I think I just got paint on me. I may do like one more quick coat tomorrow when I come in. But other than that, that's how easy and quick that is. So let me set this aside and I'll get my other little Okay, how cute is this? So this one, 
I already painted and it is in a mermaid tail. Okay, I'm gonna put this lid back on so it doesn't dry out. Got over there. How cute, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some glaze for this. I'm gonna show you how to easily do a custom colored glaze. And we're gonna glaze this little lamp base and then, like I said, maybe like next week or the end of this week, it's already Thursday though, um, maybe I'll do like some custom art work on the lampshade because I think it needs it, right? Let me get this out of the way. Um, a huge fossil stone, but not up, wait, $2. I think I missed something over there. It's kind of confusing trying to, oh, thanks, Susan. How are you? Um, hi, Dina Marshall. Can't wait to see what you do with that. Oh my God, I love that, Andrea. Yep, yep, that was Susan. Susan Skinner on there. Okay, so first things first. Um, I did just a teeny tiny bit of wet distressing on this because I was showing some customers how to do it. I really didn't necessarily have that planned, but since I started that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. So this is mermaid tail, beautiful, beautiful turquoise. And I've got a clean paper towel and I'm just dipping it into water. And I'm gonna just lightly rub a little bit off the edges, just a smidge. Don't push too hard or you're gonna end up, you'll pull too much off. Okay, so that is the one tip I would say when you are wet distressing something that's smooth like this, harder surface and it's metal, um, you don't want to use as much force as you would with like maybe wood or something like that. Although, although it is staying on there pretty good. So this has been sitting a couple of days painted, so it's starting to cure a little bit. So I'm just going to hit anywhere where it bumps out, anywhere it would naturally maybe wear. I don't want to overdo it. And then what you want to do is when you wipe it, you want to turn your rag and you want to make sure you get the clean part of the rag on there and then you'll use that. Paint a mermaid on the lampshade. Who said that? Jean. I love that. I love that idea. I would have to call it the Muddy Mermaid because we have rivers here. We have river. This is like a lazy river town in Ohio and we do not have ocean. So it would be, it would be a Muddy Mermaid. <laughs> and it's so funny because my neighbors next door, there's a restaurant and it's called Muddy Misers. So there you go, that would be perfect, right? <laughs> Oh, I know. Don't quit my day job, right? I gotta laugh at my own jokes, though, right? <laughs> Who else will? If I don't laugh, nobody else will. Um, let's see. I will try to make sure I go back and check all the questions, because I know I'm probably missing some. I want to get this extremely wet because I want to paint it. Okay. Okay. I think that's just, I'm going to call it a day. We're going to stop right there and I'm going to start on this side where it's starting to dry a little bit. Um, hello all from Rainy Newcastle. Hello, Kim. How are you? I'm going to change the angle down a little bit. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to put on here is a little bit of Big Top. And I'm going to cover it really well. And I really want to use my... French tip brush, but it is dirty because I just used it. So 
So I'm gonna rinse my brush off here. And I wanna do a nice coverage, just real quick. And this dries really quick. This is Big Top, it is a hard coat. Okay, so notice it's getting a little bit dark as I paint it. Anytime you put a cover, like a clear coat or over top of the paint, the DIY paint, it's gonna activate and it's gonna look a little bit darker, okay? Don't freak out, it's all good, it's all good. Actually, this brush is working out fine. It's just a little artist brush. I just want a really thin coat on here. So what that's going to do, that's going to seal. It's going to do like a nice little quick seal of my mermaid tail. And I want it on there thin because I, wanna, I want it to dry really quick. Um, hello from Nova Scotia, near the Atlantic Ocean. Hello, Carol. Nice to see you. Wow. We have a lot of people viewing in from different places today, don't we? That's awesome. Everybody's just ready to sit back after work and relax and... Learn some creative stuff, huh? Okay. Did I go all the way around? As it dries, it will start it will start to lighten up just a, a little bit, okay? So it'll be somewhere in between this real dark and that, this real light. It'll be somewhere in between as far as the finished look. And I hope this dries quickly. I feel like I need a bigger brush. This is taking forever. Let me see what I can find. There we go. Get a little bit of tea here. Um, hello from Australia. Eileen from Australia. What time is it in Australia? My goodness, you're a little ways away. Now, I change brushes. Be careful, because i it's probably going to put more product on, and I really just want a light coat on, okay? So with, with the DIY paint, it's very porous. It's clay, there's clay in it, right? Um, so it's very porous, so what you wanna do is just get it sealed so that it's not absorbing, okay? So that's why we're doing this coat. I absolutely love to glaze. There's a lot of um, custom things you can do with glazing. Um, it's also a harder seal than like a wax would be. And it also, you're able to get more texture out of it. And those of you that have been watching me for a while, y'all know I'm, I'm a texture girl. I love me some texture. So I love movement. I love to see the movement. Um, so that's what it'll do for me. But the first, first things first, you have to make sure you get it sealed. It actually looks kind of pretty like this too. Mermaid tail is possibly, it's on my top. Um, it's on my top five list, I would say, my top five. I've got um, my favorite colors, and please, I would love to know what your favorite color is if you've used this paint. Do you have a favorite color? Honestly, Old 57 uh, tends to be my kind of go-to. Very rarely do I not use Old 57, like when, because I do a lot of artwork. And the Old 57 is great 
for putting in highlights and things like that. If you ever want to like make something pop, put a little smidgen of that old 57, which is like a real bright turquoise. You put that on anything and it really, really pops. It's 9 a.m. It's already tomorrow in Australia. So, is tomorrow going to be a good day, Eileen? <laughs> I sure hope so. So anyway, yeah, so I forgot what I was saying, but. Oh, my colors, my favorite colors. So Old 57, um, Boho Blue is one of my faves, um, Mermaid Tail and Hey Sailor. Those are like probably my top. And I, I'm a blue girl, I love blue tones, um, but but they're all pretty yummy. All right, so that's that, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, I think I got everything. Here's what'll happen too. If you're glazing something and you miss an area, if you miss an area and, I gotta do something over here, um, and you don't get the seal on it, like the top coat sealer on it, and then you glaze over top of it, what'll happen is you'll have a portion that has like a streak or it's gonna look darker. It's gonna grab, it's called grabbing. It grabs and it pulls in that pigment. So that's what'll happen. So, hi Jolie, my sassy lamb says cake batter. She loves cake batter. Well, I love cake batter too, but. I like to eat it. That's that's the problem. <laughs> oh, cake batter is a real pretty yellow tone for those of you that are wondering what are they talking about. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside so it can dry, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix up some of the some of the glaze, and hopefully that'll dry. Let me put this, I've got a fan back behind me. Let me put this in the fan. Hopefully that'll help. Okay, so let's talk glazing. Uh, you're near London. Hello, Kim. So I'm gonna raise this up just a bit. We've got Ontario. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix this. Okay, typically, you can adjust this though accordingly, okay? There's, there's really, I mean, I'm all about breaking the rules. Let me just say that to, for starters. Um, so if you need to break the rule, break the rule. But typically, you wanna put like um, two to three parts patina, which we're gonna use clear patina. This is called Crystal Clear Chandelier is what I'm using. And you want to use about like three parts of this to one part to two parts of your color, depending on how bold you want it. Oh, and it's sticking. Okay. There it goes. Okay. And I need to this up. Make sure you stir it really well. Don't shake, just stir. Okay, and then I have a color that I picked out for this. It's called Weathered Wood. Beautiful. This is so pretty, you guys. I love this color. I use it quite often. Hi, Donna. There is the girl that won the postcard painting, my last one that I did. Which one was it? Oh, she won. She won the poppy one. Anyway, so this is Weathered Wood. Look at that pretty, pretty, prettiness. You guys, it's so good. Um, whenever I do like farmhouse signs or homemade signs, that's the color that I like to use as my base coat as well, just a little. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put one, 
two, three. I'm gonna do about three teaspoons, and you can't see that because it's distorted, isn't it? I'm gonna do about three teaspoons of the clear patina to about one little teaspoon of color, okay? You can adjust it, like I said. All right. And let's, I'm stirring it, and I usually have little um, craft sticks that I stir this with. And I don't have it. And I don't want to walk away from you. I, by the way, those of you that are new, who's new here today? And is this anybody's first time? Uh, they're all chit-chatting over on Facebook. <laughs> Kim, is that by a Niagara on the lake? Man, I love that. Have a nice little conversation. <laughs> Should come to Stratford. All right, so this is what it's looking like, right? Don't be scared. It looks dark, but it'll be fine because we've got that mixed in. We've got the clear patina mixed in. Um, we're going to, let's... Let's throw in a little bit of water. You can adjust it, like I said. Adjust it for your liking. Okay, and let's hope that my little lamp is dry. Ideally, you wanna make sure when you're glazing that it's completely dry. So ideally, the next day would maybe even be better, or a few hours at least. So, but for the sake of video I'm going to go ahead and do it so what I'm going to do since it's fresh paint I am not going to use a lot of pressure okay because um, because it's it's not it hasn't sat on there at all but I think I think it'll be all right okay so weathered wood <laughs> you were there last summer. Love it. Sorry, y'all. Off subject. You can get off subject, girl. I am. I have no problem with that. Okay, so I've got my paper towels here. I've got a couple of um, chip brushes that are just kind of old, gnarly brushes. And I'm just going to start applying. Okay. Oh my goodness. There's kids out there yelling. Don't know. Don't know what is happening. All right, it looks pretty dark, but it'll be fine. Get it in all the grooves, right? Groove, groove, groove. We should be okay. Oh, it's still just a little bit sticky. I'm gonna go all the way around. When I work with things that are round, I like to do sections all the way around so that there's not like a line showing where you've separated where you've stopped and started does that make sense are there any questions oh uh, donna says she's excited to see the postcard do y'all want to see the postcard that i painted that i'm sending to donna i know the ladies on facebook have seen it this is it isn't it pretty it's a poppy. I'm so excited. I hope she likes it. Okay, so now I'm gonna wipe this off very, very softly. Okay. Ah, oh, that pretty. Oh yeah. It's kind of messy. If you want to wear gloves, you're welcome to wear gloves. Kind of, you know, you lose all the fun, though, when you when you're too clean, <laughs> right? Right. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. Okay, so you can kind of adjust it at this point. You can pull off as much or as little as you want. Now, I will say, I, I usually. Um, prefer using like a clean old white t-shirt or something um, and I will tell you if you're using something like this which is a 
um, paper towel that has like a pattern on it, make sure you don't leave that pattern on your item that you're glazing, okay? Unless you're doing that on purpose. I mean, that's, if you're doing it on purpose, then you gotta know the rules before you break the rules, is what I always say, right? But anyway, pretty, pretty, pretty. So this is what it's looking like, gang. Let me see, can you see that? Now it's still wet, so it's going to lighten up a little bit as it dries. Can you all see that okay? Love the poppy. One of my cats is Miss Poppy, says Rebecca. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep moving. Anybody have questions? Oh, Donna, you're so sweet. She says, I will love it because it was made by you and it's so pretty. That's so sweet. You're so nice. Oh my gosh, y'all are so nice. So I'm gonna, again, work in a small section. Okay, turning it. I hope y'all can see okay. It's a little awkward. Oh, you guys, I think I told you guys that um, the other day, I'm, I told on Facebook, I said I was going on vacation, and we got this cute little tiny home that was decorated and built on HGTV. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. Anybody else doing anything fun for vacation? We all need to meet and like have like a fun workshop. Well, the word work takes the fun out of it. We don't want to use the word work. A fun retreat. Let's do it. Let's say it that way. We all need a fun retreat together. Preferably somewhere where there's sand and sun and margaritas on the beach. <laughs> Am I right? Um, was it white to start? It was, um, it was, actually it was metal. I had to stop and think about this one. This one was metal. And it was, um, like brass. It was like a brassy kind of deal. And I went ahead and did this ahead of time just so that I could show you guys the whole glazing process. You can paint your metal with this, guys. You can paint, um, I have my windows painted with this paint. My, my front windows to my store. Um, now, if you were painting, let's say you were painting like a glass lamp. You know how the bottoms are glass? You could do a full coverage. Like you could totally cover it and seal it and it would stay on there on the glass now on my windows of course i'm not sealing it because i will want you know i'll change it for the season um, but all i'll have to do is just soak it get it real soapy and soak it and then it'll just scrape right off so yeah um oh i'm liking it even more now says kim thanks Oh, because you know that it's it was brass or metal. Yeah. Yeah. You can you guys can you can paint anything with this stuff. I'm telling you. It's just so easy. Um I had somebody in earlier that was talking to me. She didn't know where to go to get fabric for exterior, right? She had these she had um, something that was her parents, and you know, I told her where to go as far as fabric goes, but I also said, you know what, you could paint that. You could totally paint that fabric. It was like vinyl or something, and she was like, huh, I never thought of that. So, yeah. Pretty, I'm loving this. 
So this is going, I'm just going to show you when I get done how much better this is going to look with like even that other, that, um, what it, the lampshade that I had. It looks so good already. So the question will be is what should I paint on the lampshade? So this is what the base is pretty much looking like. So you can see it up here, it's starting to dry. See that? That's yummy, right? That's that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. So it's going to have very much of a kind of a, more of a rustic, farmy kind of a feel, which I think will do really well here in my town. I kind of want it at my house now. <laughs> Not that it's all farmhouse, but look how cool. Mine is very, I have a very boho eclectic kind of a feel. This would really, this would work in perfectly. But do you notice how all of the grooves and everything just completely pops now, right? Whereas before it was real flat, nothing really popped, no, nothing really stood out. So, very pretty. So let me get the the lamp shade. Here it is. So what do you think? Oh gosh, yes, that looks good. Let me come back here so y'all can see. I don't know how good my lighting is. How cute, right? So what should I do? Do you want to, do you want to see like something painted on the lamp shade? Maybe I'll do a part two and we'll do some kind of a motif on there or should I leave it? I would love to get your opinions because I don't know. I, it's too late in the day and I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dina. How are you, girl? So, yeah, I'm loving it. It's, it's amazing what a little glaze can do for a girl, right? Now, if we could just figure out how we could use glaze like instead of the tanning stuff to where it would just stay, right? <laughs> um, Kim says, any of your florals would be pretty, like the blue poppies being suggested. Ooh, that's a great idea. So you guys think I should do like more of a blue, pull in from down here, some of the blue and um, yeah, I'm not sure if orange, like maybe like a burnt red a burnt red like maybe the marquee if you're familiar with what the what marquee is um this is marquee no it's not my bottles are not very pretty but like some of the marquee would be pretty and then i'll work some of the turquoise maybe on it too with some greens so i think that might work um yeah so i'm up for suggestions and this was a blast and i'm loving youtube absolutely loving this whole being able to do this on youtube so um be looking for me um doing more lives here on youtube as well as i'll still be doing my edited stuff and remember um every tuesday like late afternoon i usually do a postcard painting which is one of these little guys right here and then I give it away to one of the viewers I send it to one of the viewers that are watching and then I just put a little stamp on it mail it sign it seal it sign seal delivered right <laughs> all right gang um, y'all have been awesome um, so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet you want to please subscribe and make sure you hit the little bell so that you get notifications when I have a new video up. I absolutely appreciate all of you being here. So with that, I am gonna sign off and I'll see you all soon. And I will make sure that I go ahead and put in the description all of the products that I use here so that you can easily find it. And stay tuned for part two where I will paint the lampshade, okay? Thanks so much, everybody.